In this video, I'm going to show you how to watch the 2018 World Cup football in UHD, HLG, HDR from the BBC iPlayer app in the UK and also give you my first impressions of the picture quality coming right up. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm a TV reviewer and professional calibrator. I know what you're thinking. Something's new. Something's different. And you're right. Previously, I was sitting on this bench for a lot of my videos, but now I'm actually sitting on a chair here. And I decided to be kinder to my backside. It's just like walking into Tesco and buying a toilet roll. Do you go for Andrex or do you go for the Tesco value version? And I've decided to go for the Andrex version because it's always good to be kind to your backside. And so I'm sitting in this chair here trying to show you how to watch the 2018 World Cup football on the BBC iPlayer app to get UHD HDR in the HLG or Hybrid Log Gamma format. Now, I'll be honest here, I've previously filmed a video over the weekend and I had a blast doing it. <laughs> I filmed the video, I edited it and uploaded it to YouTube. But YouTube blocked the entire video because FIFA actually put in a copyright claim which is automatic because of the amount of football footage I had inside the video. So the whole video is blocked. Now, of course, I could actually blur out the football footage and try to explain it but you know that will mean that the picture will become pixelated and also when i use my arm to actually point out certain elements on screen my arm will be pixelated as well and i hate i absolutely hate my arm looking pixelated because it's not a pretty sight so what i've done here is i've actually filmed a video of the football footage i've taken a screenshot from it in the HDR HLG version and I'm going to compare back and forth and show you the difference. But before that, I'm going to show you how to actually watch it. Now, if you have a compatible device, let's say a 2018 television, which is compatible with the HLG HDR UHD streaming from BBC iPlayer, there's a list on BBC's website. I'll also put the link in the description and also in the first comment below. What you can do is to go to your app screen on your television and then go to the BBC iPlayer app and it should be pretty self-explanatory from then on because what will happen is that there will be a fairly obvious panel there telling you that there is a match of the day 2018 World Cup in UHD and if you click on it it will ask you whether you want to actually watch it live in UHD and just click on it and you will go straight into the streaming if there are enough connections. What BBC has done is to offer up a number of slots to a number of people in the UK and the number of available slots is said to be in the tens of thousands. But I'm not going to click it now because once I click it, it will go straight into the football match currently and then FIFA will stake their copyright and then strike off this video again. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, this is a screen grab of a World Cup 2018 football match as delivered in UHD HLG HDR by the BBC iPlayer app on a Panasonic FZ802 OLED TV. And this is another screen grab from the 1080i SDR version broadcast on the BBC One HD channel. I'm going to switch back and forth between the two to show you the difference. Note that these screen grabs are not taken from exactly the same time in the match. The reason is because the BBC iPlayer streaming is delayed around 1-2 to two minutes behind the live feed, so you may have to start cheering a bit later than your neighbours when your team scores a goal. But I'm willing to put up with that to get the improved picture quality. Even though the screen grabs are not from the same timestamp, the differences between the 4K HDR and 1080i SDR presentations are consistent throughout the match, so this comparison is still valid in my opinion. As I toggle between the two screen grabs, you can probably see that the Ultra HD version has more of a wide-angle view, capturing more of the stadium and the football feel, whereas the 1080i SDR version is more zoomed in, maybe because it's cropped from the 4K version. When the bitrate is high, I can immediately see an uptick in resolution on the UHD HDR version. I can see more detail in the crowd, 
The marks left by football boots on the field just look clearer and sharper rather than blending into a green mush. More impressive are the benefits that high dynamic range or HDR brings. The 4K HDR streaming from BBC iPlayer preserved the bright detail in the crowd, the white shirts, the individual steps on the stadium stairs, even when the sun is shining directly on them. Switch to the 1080i SDR broadcast and you'll notice that these bright highlight details are blown now because there's just not enough headroom in SDR for these to be fully expressed. If we go back to the 4K HLG HDR version, the white shots on the players are so bright, creating a great contrast against the colored tops, yet still maintain their folds and creases, just like what you would expect in real life. On the SDR version, the white shots are more likely to be blown out because there's not enough dynamic range to squeeze all these bright highlight details in. In other words, the UHD HDR version looks sharper, more detailed, more realistic with more pop than the 1080i SDR version, provided the streaming bitrate is high. BBC recommends a broadband speed of at least 40 megabits per second for the best experience, and I'm using a 76 megabits per second broadband here, so bandwidth is not a problem for me. But depending on the number of connection requests, BBC seems to be experimenting with the source bitrate, lowering it when there's higher demand. For example, during the first few matches I watched, Egypt Uruguay, Spain Portugal, which is a fantastic match, Cristiano Ronaldo, what can you say? The man's a machine. France Australia, the bitrate is extremely high, and I'm seeing a significant increase in resolution, dynamic range, and color pop from the BBC iPlayer UHD HDR streaming compared with the 1080i SDR broadcast. But when England played Tunisia, it's an evening match after working hours. It's England. I think the number of people trying to watch online just went through the roof, so BBC had to downgrade the output to fulfill more connection requests, so I'm seeing lower resolution, more compression artifacts, and even muted colors on the BBC iPlayer streaming, which is supposed to be in Ultra HD HLG HDR. Clearly, it's just a trial, it's a work in progress, but when the bitrate is high, it just shows off the massive increase in picture quality that HDR can add to your viewing experience. One problem though is that the BBC iPlayer's HLG HDR presentation can look too dark in a bright room or even a moderately lit room depending on your television. This is to be expected. I actually wrote an article on the HDTV test website two years ago explaining why HDR should be watched in a dark room. The reason is because most HDR TVs have to crank their luminance level and contrast to maximum, which is technically correct by the way, to satisfy the peak brightness demands of HDR so specular highlight detail can be expressed. But because OLED light or backlight and contrast are already maxed out, there's no easy way to further increase light output. And watching in a bright room requires higher light output from your TV. The same principle applies when looking at your smartphone under the bright sun. The screen brightness needs to be increased before you can see any photo or read any text messages. On certain TVs that allow you to adjust gamma in HDR mode, for example the Panasonic's, the Samsung's and the Sony's, you can increase gamma to brighten APL or average picture level. But probably more effective is just to draw the blinds and keep the amount of ambient light in the room as low as possible when watching HDR content. And on that bombshell, I'm going to end this video because my camera is running out of battery. And if you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.